Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to review the Loco Flieger Pro which is Loco's latest uh, line of Flieger watches. Uh, came out a while back uh, and uh, we are going to take a closer look at this beautiful beautiful uh, pilot watch. So this uh, one that I have here uh, is the Stuttgart which means it has the A dial and the thing with the Flieger Pro is that it is customizable uh, so uh, there is a lot of different specs and you can customize it to uh, your needs and your wishes uh, so this particular one is a 37 millimeters uh, you can get them also in 40 and 43 uh, so this is the smallest one uh, and uh, I'll show you all of the different choices you have uh, on the screen and I will also put a link below if you guys want to go in and uh, try and customize one for yourself and uh, they start at 850 euros that is the 37 millimeter you're gonna have to add 100 euros for 40 and another 100 if you're going for the 43 and you can choose different finishing movement if you want the date if you want the crown on the left side you know all kinds uh, different options uh, you can even choose a bracelet uh, if you get a normal brushed case, uh, the dark sandblasted case on this one uh, does not uh, have the option of a bracelet. So this is the 37 millimeter A dial Flieger, uh, and it's you know you've seen the Flieger before, uh, so it's you're really familiar with the dial. Uh, what's different with this Flieger Pro is the case, uh, which is a lot more modern uh, than. Uh, the Flieger Originals that Laco do. Uh, they are in a way more similar to uh, their cheaper Flieger Basic line. However, it is a more refined case uh, and it's uh, beautifully shaped. You can see the lugs curve down beautifully. Uh, you have the FL23883 uh, on the side there, like on the Originals and you have a crown and also another thing that's uh, on this watch that isn't on the other ones is that it is a screw down crown uh, which gives this watch a 200 meter water resistance uh, which is quite impressive and the crown is very smooth to operate uh, feels very very good and it screws into place just like that so this is the dark sandblasted finish uh, which is what I really like uh, on these Flieger watches. It is the same that is on the Flieger Originals, but you can also get it in a, just a normal stainless steel brushed finish. As far as the dimensions, this is 37 millimeters. Uh, I'll put it on the screen, uh, but uh, this particular one has a height of 10.95 millimeters, so it is quite slim. Uh, it could probably have been a little bit slimmer uh, because it is the hand wound movement. Uh, you can get it also with the automatic movement uh, but the size doesn't change but you can see there, there is some room in there this movement is the Salida SW210 uh, which is a uh, hand wound movement obviously the other alternatives is uh, SW200 and SW215 which is also hand wound uh, but with a date window and with the date window by the way uh, this is no date obviously but yeah you can choose to either have a white background with black text or a black background with white text so I really like that to uh, have the option there because I do think on a watch like this uh, the black background uh, will blend uh, more in and fit better than a white background uh, but you can choose to your own preference uh, regarding the movement it is an elaborate grade but you can choose to get a top grade if you want uh, and this is a decorated movement as you can see the Cote de Genève finishing uh, you have the local logo and it is quite well finished uh, relatively speaking but you can also get it undecorated if you don't want to pay uh, I believe 100 euros for that uh, sapphire crystal as you can see it's on the back but also on the front uh, and on the front we have anti-reflective coating on the inside uh, you can choose to also have it on the outside if you wish and if you look at the hands uh, they are uh, similar to the Flieger original uh, thermally blued uh, which means they are really beautiful and play beautifully with the light and gives a really nice uh, extra little 
uh, finishing touch on the dial. You can also see that this is a sterile dial, uh, but if you wish, you can choose to have the local logo and the made in Germany uh, on the bottom. And uh, that is up to you. But I went with the complete sterile dial uh, because I really do like the clean look. That's just a preference I have. So I really like that Laco came out with these in you know different size than their usual models. Uh, their usual ones are 39, 42, 45. Uh, so here we have a 43, 40, and 37. I love to have the option for a 37 for myself. Um, but I also think for a lot of people, 40 millimeter is a great size. It is a really good watch. I think it is beautiful. Uh, you can really see the quality, I think, in this compared to uh, the Flieger Basics. This is a huge upgrade from those, uh, in my opinion. That is worth it. It's a really good upgrade from uh, the Basic. If you have one and you like it, uh, then definitely consider upgrading uh, to something like this or the original if you prefer the more uh, well original uh, design of it. It also has really good loom. Uh, it has Super Luminova C3 and I'm going to show you a time lapse of 10 minutes uh, of loom and you can see that it is really bright and um, there's a lot of loom on here and it lasts uh, a long time. And a quick mention on the strap, you have different strap options as I'll show you. Uh, this is the one without rivets uh, and it's a pretty all right, leather strap. I have worn it on something else, which is why this looks unworn. Uh, one thing that I don't like, if you go with the dark time blasted, you still just get a polished clasp. And then this clasp is the same that is on the basic models and the cheaper watches. Uh, I wish they could have made something that was a little bit more well finished. Same finishing as this, and maybe a slightly different design uh, that just felt a little more uh, exclusive in a sense. As I said, I've just swapped out the strap. I don't wear the original strap on these, uh, so it's not a big thing. But I feel like it would have made the watch more uh, complete. Don't understand why they haven't done it, uh, but it is what it is. So I'm going to take it on the wrist and show you guys what it looks like on my 16 and a half centimeter uh, wrist, if I can get it on. Now this strap is quite stiff when you get it. I haven't worn this, so uh, it is still a little stiff uh, but this is this is what it looks like on my 16 and a half centimeter wrist i think it is beautiful uh, perfect size in my opinion it does look a little bit bigger on the camera than what it is in real life uh, but i think it is a beautiful beautiful size even though fliegers are traditionally Large watches, I'm not a pilot, I just like the watch and I want it small. So all in all, I think this is a fantastic Flieger watch. Uh, it is my favorite Flieger watch that I've ever had my hands on. And I think it is pretty good value, uh, depending on the specs. I mean, you can spec it out to be quite expensive, but uh, especially for me who wants the 37 millimeter, I think it is uh, a decent value. Uh, and I think it is really well made. And I do love that you can choose to get it hand wound and uh, get a little nice decoration on there. It looks, it makes it a little bit more interesting than the solid case back, which you can also choose if you want. And if you want to have it as an uh, automatic uh, for the convenience, that is obviously possible, but I like to have the manual one and it's you know, kind of a charm to, to have to wind it up uh, that I quite enjoy. Uh, and I don't wear it like every day. So it's just on occasion. So uh, in that case, it works perfectly for me. All in all, I really recommend this Laco Flieger Pro if you are looking for a Flieger watch. I think it is one of the better uh, options out there, uh, if not the best. It is a simple watch, but I think once you get it in hands, you really see how well made and beautiful it is. Uh, and uh, I think it is a really, really a well-crafted watch. I see very little downsides. And it is a good thing that you can customize it to your needs so uh, you can get the one that you want, uh, which I think is uh, a great option to have. So that was basically it for my review. Uh, what do you guys think of this Laco Flieger Pro? Have you tried it and uh, will you get it? Uh, I'll put a link below as well if you want to purchase one, uh, an affiliate link that doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps to support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this review of the Laco Flieger Pro Stuttgart 
and I hope you guys learned something and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and uh, goodbye.